Good afternoon and welcome to uh, this week's video. This week we are trekking our way to a little bit of columbine field, of a, a field of columbine flowers. Um, I'm here in Leadville, Colorado and uh, I'm on a four wheel drive trail. My mom's currently driving the Jeep up and I was stopping and taking some photos. So I'm just walking up behind her. There she goes. <laughs> And uh, we're probably somewhere around 11,000 feet in elevation, so I'm definitely feeling it in the lungs today. But um, yeah, it's really nice. Um, just uh, taking the time to enjoy Mother Nature, some fresh, clean air, low temperatures, low humidity. It's like everything great in the world. So anyways, yeah, so I'm excited to see this field of columbine flowers that um, we are driving too. So hopefully she stops here in a moment so I can get back into the Jeep because my lungs are kind of feeling it just a little bit and don't want to get altitude sickness. Ah! So um, yeah, so just uh, we'll come back, catch back up with you here in just a bit. to a little meadowy area and there's a whole bunch of just columbine throughout the meadow area and so I'm just trying to find compositions of columbine flowers that I like um, whether it's close up I would like to try to find a grouping of them where I can maybe get a little bit of shot of the mountains that direction which is Mount Mount Massive Mount Albert um, so we just just gonna be kind of walking around trying to find that that composition that I like. Try to find the flower groupings and the compositions that I like. So um, might be something over here. One of the things I have to be mindful of is ant hills. There's tons of ant hills and stuff. And uh, having been bitten by these ants before, they hurt like a motherfucker. So kind of just uh, want to avoid that. But we're gonna see if I can't maybe get. There's some columbines right here, so we'll see if maybe I can't. There's a composition. You can see Mount Elber in the background just a little bit. We'll see if I can't maybe get a little composition that I like here. Um, but yeah, so there'd be like columbines in the foreground right here and then the mountains off in the distance. So we'll see if I can't find something here. Okay, so um, didn't like any of those compositions. It just wasn't the flowers weren't necessarily focusing in the right direction to make it good. But I just noticed this kind of field of a variety of different wildflowers. But more importantly, um, there it is. So right behind me, that is Mount Albert. So more importantly, I might be able to get shot with some of these varieties of these really pale light wildflowers there with Mount Albert. Um, directly behind me in the background and so this might be a focus stack situation so I can get the foreground in focus and then the midground and the background um, but we'll see um, and everything so um, definitely hearing some thunder so be mindful of that because I'm at what is my elevation here give me a second I can tell you definitely over 11,000 feet we are 
11,124 feet above sea level right at the moment. So yeah, <laughs> we're up there. So I'm just gonna try to find that right composition in this particular area to get the shot that I think I have in mind. Um, do I wish that there was a little bit more colors other than these pale yellow flowers and stuff? Yes, but I'm not gonna be picky because you know, there's wildflowers and I like flowers. So anyways, I'm gonna sit down my camera and just wander around and try to get find a composition that I like, so yeah. All right, so definitely found a good composition that I'm pretty happy with. Um, so I'm definitely focus stacking. My camera settings are ISO 200, 125th of a second, aperture is right around F13. And so focus stacking wise, I'm focusing on um, the foreground. So these flowers that are really close up and then I've just kind of picking several different focus points and making sure that the last one of which is Mount Elbert is in focus. So that way from foreground to background is in focus. Um, so I think this is gonna be really cool once I focus stack them together. Um, who knows, I it could end up being one of those things that maybe I end up just liking the one where the foreground's out of focus, I don't know, but I'm really happy that there's, um, a lot of clouds, sundry clouds and stuff, so it adds interest into the sky. But I'm really excited about this particular vantage point of Mount Elbert, because you can see the point, the top of Mount Elbert, which, if you did not know, Mount Elbert is the tallest mountain in Colorado, and it is at 14,439, 40, 33, you kind of see, floating around different sites have it differently, but uh, so right around 14,400 plus feet. So it's the tallest uh, mountain in Colorado, um, but yeah, great vantage points. I really, I'm really happy. I think I'm gonna really like these photos and so hopefully you will too. And so I'm sure I'm about to show you the photos that I just took from this particular vantage point. So anyways, we're just gonna keep wandering around finding other different angles to take some photos and so Right now there's some people who are doing some mountain biking with a dog and everything, which is fun. So, but yeah, so i um, just gonna wander around, find different vantage points. Try not to be eaten alive by mosquitoes because there's lots of mosquitoes. So yeah, ah, so pretty, so excited, yay. So yeah, I think this is just gonna be a quick little video today. So I'm gonna, we're probably gonna drive just maybe a little bit more on the trail and then probably head back to my mom's house, <laughs> which is not too far away from where we're at um, and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I'll probably be showing some more photos here in just a moment, but um, yeah. Oh, Colorado, I love you. I miss you. I'm so happy to be happy. Whew, I'm so altitude deep breath. I am so happy to be back here in Colorado and be able to explore and spend a couple weeks. Um, I lived here in Colorado for 15 years up in the mountains between Leadville and Summit County, which is like Breckenridge, Dillon, Silverthorne, that area. And so it's really nice to be back and be able to do a whole bunch of photography and everything. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short little video and I hope you enjoy the flowers that I took is starting to sprinkle on me hearing thunder again a little closer so we're gonna head back to my house and oop anthill <laughs> avoided that massive anthill just barely but anyways yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this video if you do please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family don't forget to follow me on instagram if you are not currently following me on instagram 
And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you do so that you can come along on my different photography adventures. And for the next several episodes, it's gonna be here in Colorado. So I'm excited to do some different stuff than I do when I'm back in North Carolina. So anyways, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you guys next week. Take care, bye.